All right, what's up, dudes? Uh, here we are. Today, been a while. Um, geez, hold that camera steady. Uh, <laughs> going to my buddy's shop at uh, Endless Auto Sports. Um, I ordered a uh, ETS short route intercooler piping, uh, ETS three and a half inch uh, intercooler, and a tile tile cube uh, law valve, all through my friend AJ who owns Endless Auto. Uh, he gets really good pricing on everything. Um, I basically got the blow bill for free with how much money I saved. So I'm going there right now to wait for the UPS guy because today is the three year anniversary of me owning my Evo. So I thought it'd be nice to get something for her, you know? <laughs> Sorry, girl. But um, yeah, if you haven't noticed, um, uh, I'm in uh, my piece of shit Ford Ranger, <laughs> hauling through town and uh, just hoping it doesn't break down. Uh, but yeah, right now we're gonna go up there. I'll show you Endless Auto and we'll be waiting for the UPS guy. All right, so here we are at uh, Endless Auto. I came here to intercept the UPS guy. Uh, that is my friend Petey. Speedy PD towing. He's here right now. I'm gonna go wait for the UPS guy while he goes runs something at home. I'll show you the address for this place and how to get into contact. But yeah, this is it. And this is the Ranger. Let's go get my parts. Are you disappointed in your Starbucks sandwich? Yeah, I thought it was gonna be healthy. I mean, for how much they charge, you'd think it'd be, you know, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we went and got Starbucks real quick. Um, my blow off valve arrived. That arrived separately. I guess sometimes ETS, if you order a blow off valve from them and they don't have it in stock, they'll order it from uh, Tile and they'll ship it out separately. So that's what happened here. As you can see, I got it in black because if you get the uh, short route ETS piping now, it comes in uh, wrinkle black. And I have a lot of stuff on my car that's um, purple. You're what kind welcome. of purple? What kind of purple? Um, what? Illusion purple. Illusion purple. So the black will really go nice with it. Look how nicely everything is packaged and put in with foam and because with some weird instruction here, but you shouldn't really need instructions to install a blow valve as long as. Um, you do this banjo bolt correctly because on the bolt itself there's a hole in one spot so you gotta line up the nipple here with that hole and if you don't then you got no vacuum going there other than that pretty self-explanatory part you know mechanical uh, pretty badass um, because I got everything through AJ and saved a lot of money I basically got this blah valve for like free. Um, all the stuff that I got from ETS, if you go on their website, comes out to about $1,300. Um, that's including the intake air temperature sensor bong, the sensor itself, uh, the plug and play intake air temperature sensor uh, harness from spooling up. Um, the bong that they welded on uh, for the tile uh, blow valve and then everything being wrinkled black everything shipping um, And then I would still have to buy a blow valve which these are around $280 brand new um, But through AJ I got everything shipping everything the blow valve everything for like $1350 so you know saved me a lot of money he usually gets about 10% off on stuff can you, can you not be annoying, please? All right, so finally back home. I was at uh, Endless Auto um, pretty much all day. I did not want to miss the package. I don't want my friend, you know, AJ going somewhere and package coming there at that time, you know, with the shitty luck I have. So I went to Endless at 12 o'clock and UPS got there at 3.10. I just hung out, you know, looked at some of the stuff they were doing, um, messing with Corvettes and stuff, and Pokemoning a little. <laughs> but uh, 
Yeah, everything came. I'm about to uh, sort of unbox things to see if everything is there. Um, here's the Evo currently. Um, during the week while I was waiting for the stuff, I took everything apart. So I took off uh, my piping. I took off my stock inner cooler and everything else. Um, I got to order me a different brace bar because I don't want to use that big ass one and one for the back. Uh, this the piping that was on my car as you can see I scraped the shit out of it. So I'm gonna make sure I put the other one back on nicer so I don't end up scraping through the like expensive stuff. Uh, that's the stock inner cooler. So I'll compare that one next to the three and a half inch wide tank one that I got from ETS. Uh, this right here is the intake air temperature sensor and the uh, intake air temperature sensor plug and play harness. Plugs right into the harness of your master, mass airflow sensor. And this you get from spooling up for about 50 bucks. Uh, this is my tile uh, blow valve with a with a negative 11 psi uh, spring in it wherever the hell it said here it is negative uh, 11 black uh, that negative 11 is supposed to be for uh, Evo 9 with stock cams so about negative 18 um, in vacuum at idle as you can see and this is the box from ETS their packaging is crazy I haven't unpacked it yet but like if you look at the box it's only that you know that wide and like that long you're like how the fuck do they cram in a three and a half inch Y tank intercooler so at first I thought they didn't even put one in this box I was like what the what else my you know $650 intercooler but uh, there it is nicely packaged nicely organized couplers foam padding but to uh, unpack the rest of it and we'll see how it looks all right so let's go through the list real quick show you what I got here on the ETS website uh, only through my friend so it would be the ETS EVO 8.9 intercooler upgrade phone's being slow it's in the garage um, I just unpacked a lot of the stuff here um, that's the wide tank EVO 9 intercooler with the wrinkled black short route piping I believe this piping saves um, two feet of piping which is huge you get a lot uh, quicker spool time let's go back here all right so we got Evo 8.9 intercooler upgrade kit you read through all this as it says it'll um, so it says here, 11% increase in cross-sectional area, flow is increased as well. That's with the piping. Uh, two and a half inch, they'll give you all that you need to know on here. So let's go down. Um, what did I get? I got the, you can get the standard tank. Uh, a lot of guys run that on the eights. You can even get a wide tank. I'm pretty sure, but wide tank Evo nine three inch. No, let's go shoot. It's hard doing this with my left hand. So three three inch wide tank Evo nine plus another hundred sixty dollars. Uh, ETS logo. That's the stencil in the front. So short, shortest route, so you got, you know, stock route, magnus intake manifold, shortest route, they'll, you know, say mini battery, but that, that if you don't even have a battery in the front, it's the same thing. So two and a half inch uh, diameter, 
um, blow off valve flange well if you're running a a tile which everybody will recommend to you they'll add a tile flange on there you don't have to you can uh, when you buy a tile blow valve it comes with a flange you can weld it on yourself uh, so this is the uh, recirculating pipe say no to that because you're not recirculating the blow off uh, speed density yes so you should include the intake air temperature sensor bung uh, that's for the tuner uh, if you want anodized throttle body 2.75 stock piping color wrinkle black uh, that will come out to 1200 so now I don't know if you have to pay separately for shipping or not see this is a standard tank on the Evo 8 and this is a white tank on the Evo 9 they try to fill up as much as the grill as they as they possibly can so yeah that'd be 1200 there don't know about shipping because I didn't pay for shipping but yeah that's basically what I got and uh, just because I'm running a 30R I want to be able to spool that up as quick as possible so having that short route piping is gonna be awesome you could tell how nicely they did everything that's why I didn't want to weld this up myself because I'd mess up the paint then um, this inner cooler the more I look at it the more I'm starting to understand why it's so expensive but very very well worth the money this thing is awesome um, and here you got you got the T-bolt clamps that's how they call them you got the brackets also for the inner cooler to mount it uh, you got couplers here I believe this one is throttle body to intercooler pipe uh, you even get this one right here if you're let's say running a stock turbo or something you still have the J pipe so you have the little side up front and the two and a half in the back but I won't need that because I'm running, running a bigger turbo blow valve uh, sensor and everything so let's throw this stuff on man Barely get somewhere. Here's the here's the shit. Here's the inner clear. The hog. I hope everything is right. You know, everything should be good, but I need a boost leak tested, which I don't have a regulator on my compressor, so. Yeah. See this shit so people know. 
This is the only thing I had to change because I'm running a GT30 instead of a stock frame turbo, like a stock turbo or an FP turbo, is that this pipe, this pipe could not reach because I don't have a J pipe coming from the stock turbo. So I had to add a pipe in between the pipe to make it longer. And we will test that and see if I have a boost leak or not or if it pops off. If so, I'll get a piece welded off of my turbo to extend it down further. It looks nice on that front out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why you get a zip tie on it? So he likes it. <laughs> Sweet. 